Hey guys, what's up? This is Mario here, and welcome back to day two another Destiny beta video. This is going to be episode six. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy this of the campaign, anyways. And so here we go. And today, I quickly just want to note a few things. First of all, I leveled up to level eight because I failed to do this. Uh, I failed to complete this strike like four times because either the people that I played with sucked or the audio didn't record or something like that. Um, second of all, I will have got a lot of new weapons. Maybe you guys haven't seen this stuff before. Um, and third of all, do I have anything else I need to tell you guys? Yeah, I'm level 8 basically, and I've done some a bit of the Crucible uh, on this account. I've got a couple of rewards and stuff. I've got some bounties as well, but today we're going to be doing the Devil's Lair Strike mission. So we're going to launch into this thing, uh, just straight away. And basically this is a massive mission. If you guys didn't see my first uh, run through of this in the alpha I will uh, you can check that out on my channel it'll be in the destiny alpha playlist but uh, if you didn't see that one basically it's just like a massive uh, uh, like raid style thing for like MMO style if you know what I'm talking about and bit so we have a, I think we have one of each class actually here we have I'm the hunter I'm playing as the hunter at the minute and then we have a warlock and a titan I believe which is you know kind of like a perfect combination Alright, so we're actually starting from the beginning, which is a good sign. Continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of the cosmic world, in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the house of Devil's Lair. And the high civility feeds into their strength. We must destroy this machine guard. And send their souls screaming back to hell. Alright then, sorry if you can hear my microphone there by the way, it's just because uh, uh what's it called? My volume's a little bit high on my television, so you might be able to hear an echo for just a second here, but I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. There you go. Alright, so that created a public event literally right there. That's really strange. Alright, let's head over there, actually. Is this uh, in the mission? Yeah, it is as well, yeah. Alright, that guy needs to take it down, so let's chuck our grenade at him. Yeah, like I said, I upgraded that to that grenade, which is basically, like, it shoots out little bursts. Oh, wow, this guy has a lot of health. God damn. Alright, let's just take this guy out. Oh, no, let's not get killed in the process, though. Alright, let's revive that guy. Uh, oh, no, mind, he respawned. Alright. Where is this guy, anyway? Oh, there he is. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the t Destiny content. I'm going to have it daily uh, from now on. Uh, every single day there will be a new Destiny video. Uh, and I'll, I'll upload some Minecraft, maybe, in the middle of that. Uh, some Gary's mod, I don't know. I'll upload just random videos in the between that. But I'm going to have daily Destiny content. One video of Destiny every single day, at least. Please hit that. Oh, oh, I got him as well. Oh, the beast bird. Oh, I forgot this is not a rifle. I should probably switch out to my scout rifle, actually, because I prefer the scout rifle for these kinds of missions. Uh, where is he? There he is, alright. That's be why I prefer the scout rifles for these kinds of missions. I just do. Alright, where is he? Well, he's there. We can see by the marker where he is. Here we go, yeah. Scout rifles, I think they do a little bit more damage. Maybe that's why. Alright, let's just skip past this guy. I'm going to skip past this guy. I don't know about you guys, but... I'm going to skip past this guy. I mean, we could just keep fighting him, but that would extend the video for longer. And, you know, shorter the better, I guess. Less less viewing time. We're, tr we're trying to shoot him, but the see, we're not doing enough damage to him all at once. I'll chuck my grenade at him there. If he walks into it. He's not going to walk into it, because he's not an idiot. Yeah, we're definitely not taking this guy down. We may as well just kind of, like, you know, give up. Because this guy's, this guy's going to stay alive for quite some time. Look at how much health he has. Yeah, look at him. He's tanking. Alright, let's, let, I'm going to move on, I'm going to move on, if they want to follow me then fair enough, but we need to be careful because there's going to be some hive around here I would imagine, yep right there, knight, level 9, in fact he got taken down pretty damn quickly, to be honest, considering he's like supposed to be like the captains of the hive, so like we have a, fo you have a fallen captain and I think the hive knight is supposed to be the equivalent of that for the hive, but uh, very, not, not as powerful as the captain, definitely not. Alright, so the enemy's behind us still, one sec. Should have grenade at him. That should get him a little bit. Yep, yeah, took him out a little bit, not much. And there we go. By the way, getting headshots in this game is like essential if you want to get kill things quickly. Like look at how much quickly I'm killing this thing with just headshots. You would it would take forever to kill this thing with just um body shots. Hey, oh, he's hiding under the bridge now because he's scared of me. He's in the two squid. Alright, there we go. Alright, did we all follow each other? Oh no, there's still a couple guys back there, but this guy followed me. What a man, what a man, what a legend. Alright dude, let's go through here, uh, to the first area of this mission, as you can see by my little ghost there. Apparently there's actually going to be other shells for the ghost in the full game as well. We need more power if we're going to try that. Oh right, okay, the event's been finished. Alright, cool. 
Uh, so we're gonna head through here, and through here I believe there's a couple of enemies, so we need to be careful. Alright, okay. I understand what the crossfire means now, in the last time I didn't, and basically, uh, because the Fallen and Hive are kind of like enemies, they will like, attack each other, which is really cool, how that's like, a feature in the game. And like, there's an area, I think you might, you might, you might see it in the future at some point, but there's like an area where there's a massive war that'll sometimes just randomly happen. And it looks absolutely beast when you actually get into it. It's really hard, but it's like cool as well. Anyway, all right, we've got an upgrade as well for our subclass, so that's fine by me in the video. All right, kill this thing off. There you go. All right, so let's just get this upgrade first of all. Uh, it's an upgrade for subclass. Uh, killing an enemy with throwing knife while golden gun is active extends the duration of golden gun. That's that's pretty decent actually. I'll I'll, I'll take it definitely. All right, let's head down here then. Where are we heading? Uh, I've actually, I don't, oh, never mind, it doesn't matter. Alright, there, we're heading to that star over there, like the star with the diamond, that, that thing. I've looked at it now, so it's gone away. Oh, hey, oh, there's a lot of things here, I think. Yep, there is. Let's pull out our gold gun and kill off some of this. To kill off the captain, at least, that's fine by me. Because the captain's a bit hard to kill sometimes. Acolyte's dead. Is the knight, is the, there's a wizard over there, actually, not a knight. I thought it was a knight for a sec. Oh my god, my accuracy is failing me. What, there's only like a tiny little bit, there we go, he's dead. There's like a tiny little bit of his health left, and I couldn't destroy him. Oh, no, this guy's a blade, I think. A really tank blade. Ooh, that was really close. Ooh, I think he actually got me one shot there. All right, let's, let's, let me just reload this weapon. For, I won't use it, but I'll reload it. I'll save this for the last round of this mission. But, so that guy's going to go ahead and activate his ghost, if I'm correct. Are you, dude? Did you activate your ghost? Yeah, he's, he's put his ghost on that thing. Alright, cool. You can knife these things, actually. I won't do it because um, I've got my throwing knife. Complex. But you can actually knife the ghost and it, like, it shows like a hit marker. Which is quite funny. Alright, the captain needs to go down. There we go. He's Look at that captain. He's already downed. Alright, chuck a grenade there. And look at that. One of those dregs is definitely dead, at least. Oh, yes. Yeah, some other guys in another grenade, which is the cooler version of the grenade, in my opinion. They all do the grenade for the hunter. There's the normal one, which just to kind of explodes. It's a ge generic grenade. Uh, there's a um, there's the one that I'm using at the minute, where it like splits off into a bunch of different grenades, and then it hums in on the guy it uh, finds. And then there's, you can actually have like a bouncing Betty sort of thing, like a trip mine grenade, where you can attach it to a wall, and then when an enemy walks through it, uh, they will get killed. So, oh, crud oh, right, the captain's dead. Uh, chuck a good, uh, throwing knife and get rid of that. Oh, I was going to get rid of him. Never mind. Stab you. Stab. Oh, I was going to stab them all. He used his super though. Not going to complain. All right, let's reload again because we got a little bit more ammo there. There we go. And oh, shanks are coming from all directions. There we go. We took the. We took everything out pretty quickly so far, actually. To be completely honest. Let's get rid of these things. So this is actually. This should be quite a nice uh, little run through of the strike then because oh, I wanted to keep quite short. The entire system is wired to it. I'll work faster. Alright, cool. Uh, you shouldn't be able to hear an echo in the audio of the other, of the, like, the in-game noises anymore because, uh, my t I usually have my TV turned quite high up so I can hear the game. Um, but during when I'm recording, I don't need to because, uh, otherwise it echoes really bad. Let's just get back a sec. Let's just camp behind this ghost while he's doing his thing. Let me, I'll do my golden gun. Let's go. Got rid of you, and then get rid of the captain with a shot. There we go. Uh, is there a wizard? I, I thought there might be a wizard this round, actually. Let me chuck that grenade. That'll find them. Unless it doesn't. I, I was about to say that would be cool if it couldn't find them, because they uh, because they were like invisible. They're not guys become behind me. Oh, I thought that was a guy. Damn it! I used my throwing knife. That would have been more useful if I'd have used it on something big and bulky. 105 ammo for heavy weapon. That's fine by me. But just so you know. I'll pull it out for this round because there's going to be quite a lot of enemies coming. I'll only use it on the big heavy enemies, though, like like these guys coming here. There you go. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. You see what I mean? There's a lot, lot, lot of them coming now. Oh, wow, we're dead. Hey, was that, was that grenade created by the monster or was that created by a friendly? Because that killed me, that grenade, I think. Killed by the... Uh, something. I couldn't quite read it. I think it's a killed by the architects or something. Let me just jump back up here real quick. Broken it. Oh my god, is this on hard difficulty? Jesus Christ, there's a lot of things coming at us. Oh no, no. This is the level eight version, I think. As far as I'm as far as I'm aware, I chose the level six version. 
Looks like I got put into the wrong lobby. Oh well, we can live, I'm sure. Oh wow, I need to revive these guys, otherwise we're gonna go down. Revived. Revive, 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 revive. No! Alright, I revived two of them, that's good. So now we have two instead of one. Fine by me. I'll just wait for these guys to finish off. We're not alright, that guy's still alive, thank god. Guy behind you, dude. Oh wow. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna die. Uh, I was having this would be a nice little shot run through. Please don't die, dude. Come on, please. Alright, I, I, I can almost respawn. Just live for 10 more seconds, dude. Don't, don't go too hardcore. Yeah, revive that guy. I can almost respawn. Thank you, dude. If you can revive me. No, never mind. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, no, no. What? I respawned. Ooh, and the other guy died just as we finished. Oh, no, wait, never mind. No, the, the guy that... No, it doesn't matter. Alright. I respawned anyways. I thought we was going to go down there. Uh, this round's really hard, actually, compared to what it usually is like. So... I don't know if that's just a bug or whether I accidentally chose hard difficulty, but I was going to choose the normal level 6 difficulty, if I accidentally did do that. Alright, I hope they haven't both gone down, because otherwise I'm going to have to revive them, I really don't want to have to revive both of them. Now that guy's still alive, that's a good thing. Or sneaking up from behind it, onto this guy, who's trying to kill my friends. Must be careful, son. Must be careful, Mr. Captain. Don't want to get too bulky with Mr. Mario. Wizard, 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 there was a wizard there. I think I killed him, actually. Ooh, no, 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 that was a little bit dangerous. Little bit. Where's... There's a wizard there. Let's get rid of him. He's in the air now. Oh, wow, wow, captain, captain, captain. Oh, we're getting some tanks here. Oh, wow, there you are. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, captain, he's dead. You know, anyway, I thought I'd knifed him for a sec. I didn't knife him. Oh, well, shanks here. Let's just stab these things to death because these things are easy to kill now. Uh, right, got him. Got you. Missed you. Hey, where, where's that coming from? Oh, the you. Alright, okay. Alright, I'll get ready to pull out my golden gun then because, to be honest, our heavy machine gun we could save now until the final round. Uh, sorry, not to the final round, until the, um, the, the, next, the next guy, which is the Devil Walker, if you guys haven't seen my... Other let's play yet. You guys will see what he looks like uh, as soon as we get there. But he's very tank, I'll just warn you. Like, literally, he's quite tanky. He is like a moving, walking tank. Oh, wow. There's vandals. I can't even kill, like, level 6 vandals anymore because there's that, that many of them. Stab you. Oh, wait, I didn't kill him. Got you. Here he is. Boom and bang. Oh, I missed him. Bang and bang. No, I missed it. I missed him twice. That was terrible. That was a terrible golden gun. Let me just jump up here a sec. Oh, I can see that now. I couldn't see that yesterday because it was night time when I was doing this mission. And I couldn't see this area. I couldn't see the balcony yesterday, but now I can. Guy, okay, there, there he is. Naxxus De is it Naxxus Devil Baron, that's his name. Right, chuck a grenade and Oh that filled again. Oh no, I got I got him with one of them, at least. Alright, that's some heavy ammo drops. Alright, cool. So you can now move through this area, which was lasered off uh, previously, into the devil... We're still trying to infiltrate the devil's lair. So let's head through here, into the sewers, or what it looks like the sewers anyways. Let's destroy these things. At the minute, I think there's just going to be a bunch of basic enemies that are going to come at us, and then we're going to face this devil walker, who is an absolute tank. By the way, oh, no, 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 oh, crud, no, let's not do this now. Dregs? No. Stabby, stabby dregs. Wait, was that, there's a captain there still, alright. Okay, okay, let's get back, let's get back, let's get back. Guys, drop back, drop back, drop back. Where's the other guy gone? Alright, no, he's coming up now. Why, why didn't you guys follow me? The other, anyways, alright. Devil Walker... Oh, he moved away. Cheeky sensor. Where's he gone now? Oh, there you are. Right, he's got really low health. He's, he's run out of armor, that's a good thing. We, that means he's gonna do, we can do more damage to him. Oh, the stab is real. I think I actually got him with the stab there. Alright, so let's come around here. So we're going to face against the Devil Walker now. Um, so we're heading into the second part of the mission. I'm, now, I know what I'm doing, so I'm going to head on my Sparrow real quick. Alright, there we go. So let's head over here into this area. Uh, this is where I like to go for this um, little mission let's just kill off these guys first of all and let's not die that would be a very good idea to start off with oh ooh, no 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 that's far too dangerous jeez that's at least level six dregs far too dangerous to go out there no 
there we go. I think people stick back there generally for the first part of it anyways, because there's a lot of enemies. So let's chuck a grenade at the thing. There we go, that's going to home in right on his leg as well. That's going to be very useful. Guys down here. Oh, we don't have a grenade. Damn it, I should have saved that actually. Right. Throwing knife, this bad boy. Oh, 209 on the leg. Wow, I shot. A, I threw like a little digi knife at him and he, he does like 200 damage. Reviving. I'll go and revive this guy one sec. Now, the double jump's by far the one way you can jump the farthest. It doesn't necessarily go high, but it goes very far. Oh, yeah, you get invincibility for a sec, so we could actually put a couple of shots onto one of his legs. Now we're not invincible, so let's run away. Let's run right away, if I can, uh, away from that guy. And now let's pull out our heavy weapon. We got there eventually, and now let's tank this thing with our heavy weapon out. Now, I think someone told me that if you shoot it... Alright, someone told me if you shoot it on that like that drop pad thing when it was open, it would do a lot of damage, so... I guess it didn't, but the legs definitely do a lot of damage. What are you doing? There's chunks. And there's one there. Uh, by the way, guys, there'll be a lot more... Uh, like I said, there'll be a lot more Destiny content coming out very shortly, but... Oh, no, he's shooting at me. Um, and some of it will be with friends, by the way. I've got a couple of friends that are going to pre-order the game uh, that I'll be doing some videos with. And so that will be fun times, hopefully. Now, we're just trying to take this thing out at the minute. I, I should probably use my gold gun on it. That'll be a good idea. One sec, then. Let's wait for it to shoot first. Like I said, look, we can go We can go really far away with that thing. Right. Bang. Oh, straight off. Oh, and let's use it on this core. Bang. And bang. 1,125 damage. Oh, damn. That went badly. That went really badly. Let's jump and jump again. Oh, oh wow, wow, wow. He was firing at me. Those bullets do a lot of damage as well. If I'd have got caught by one, probably would have been dead. Captain there. Let's take him out. Is he dead? Is he gone? No, he's not. Wow, my grenades miss like hell when I use this one. I guess it's better than the other one that I have, though. Oh, he threw it into the wall. That's just unlucky. Is that his real gun? Yeah, he's using his real gun on me. The real gun's real powerful. Right, let's pull out our heavy weapon again. I don't realize we have still ammo for this thing, but we do. So let's use it on it. Oh, now he's aiming at me. Let's run away. Let's run a hell away. Oh, oh, is he using his laser? Because it took quite a while to fire there. Or did I? Did he just like not fire while lit? I don't think he fired while lit. All right. He's aiming at me again. Let's run away. Run away. Reload again. This is not my strategy, to be honest. Just uh, reloading and then running away from him. So reloading, firing all my bullets into him, and then running away. Like there, you see, he's gonna fire at me now. He might even kill me. Oh, did you see that? He thought he was running forwards, but he was like, nope. And let's fire in the middle leg and on the front leg again. And there we go, his front leg's out. So let's chuck a grenade at it. And look at that, aiming right for the core there. Oh, the damage. Damage that core. You can get onto that core. It's amazing. That's good. And is he coming back? Almost back. There we go, he's back. And so now we have to fire at the middle legs because all of the front legs have been taken out. I mean, you can still fire. What I mean by that is you can still fire at the front legs, but it does not do as near enough damage as firing at the ones with armor on do. I don't know why that is, to be honest, because, like, if, if you think about it, if he has armor where his legs are, it shouldn't do it shouldn't do more damage. It should do less where the armor is. Oh, well, I guess that's just, you know, logic for you. Oh, that he'll right on him. That's, that was a night grenade, actually. Let's chuck that tomahawk at him. Right on there, 53 damage. Uh, there's a couple of shanks that he's take, uh, sending out, actually, because he has the ability to uh, send shanks out the side flap on his uh, beautiful armor. I'll try and show you it if I can, but it might be kind of hard. They're, they're blue things there that just opened up. He fires shanks out of those, uh, which will kill you very quickly if there's enough of them. That's going to home in on that guy. Alright, we've almost taken him out, actually. This has been an alright run. How long has it taken? 20 minutes. That's not too bad for this run. This is supposed to take about uh, 45, uh, 30 to 45 minutes-ish. Uh, which is, you know, that's the average amount of time. I mean, the first time it took me an hour and three minutes to do. Oh, that, that was on the alpha. And now it takes. Now I've done this about five times, and it's taken me about half an hour to 45 minutes to complete them each time. Right, he's bouncing out some of those things, and let's hop away from that shit. Alright. Where is... One sec. Ooh, he's coming again. He always aims at me. Why does he do that? It's annoying. There we go. He's homing in now. Alright, Shank's dead. Uh, yeah, like I say, he actually do it quite frequently. I didn't actually notice that. He does it quite frequently compared to what I thought he did it like. Alright, 
I'm, I'm firing at both legs. I should probably focus on one leg. It'd be easy. It'd be easier to take him out then. I'm trying to focus on this one here, but it's kind of hard. Oh no! Wait, those blue things can also shoot out those grenades that you're seeing that are just coming out of him randomly. Grenade. I, I mean, this is going to get a little bit repetitive, so I will also leave some timestamps in the description to certain points of the video. I'll, of course, you can watch it from the start, and then I'll send it from uh, the beginning of the actual strike. And then I will do it from the the, the uh, mesh layers, this one, and then the final boss. So you guys can go to the description. If you just, if you just did to watch the final boss, then go to the description, check it out. There'll be just a timestamp if you just want to go see the final boss. I'll be commentating over everything though, so you know might want to stick around for the full thing. All right, that back leg now. I want to try and get that middle leg on his other side there. That one that I'm firing at now. I'm trying to shoot through. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I see what I mean. Glad that I did that. Grenade it. Oh yeah, come on, please be dead. Please be dead. Please die. Please die. Please die. He's not dead. God damn it. Alright, we should probably get the heck away now. Because he's probably gonna try and fire at us. Oh that guy's down, is he? Oh no wait, no, it's the other guy. Alright, never mind then. The shanks, I'll take those out. Oh one of them went away actually. Oh there we go, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead, I think. Oh shank shank tomahawk. A shank, I like to call that. Actually, I do like to call that shank. All right, we got an engram for a special weapon. If I just check that out, right there, an engram. What's that? Uh, fire damage. What's better? They're very similar, except that. Well, let me let me equip one and then let me compare it uh, to that. Let's see. There is no difference apart from the damage, basically. So, oh, I forgot. There's more enemies that come this way. There's literally no difference between either of the weapons, except for the fact that one is fire. And so I'll get rid of one, I'll get rid of the one that does... I'll get rid of this fire one, because I... Uh, well, you know, arc damage, a little bit more difference. I'll quit my shotgun again, and so let's head through here now into the Devil's Lair. Alright, so the, you're going to see a lot of gold stuff. I don't know why there's a bunch of gold. I don't know why a massive purple orb would need this much gold, because he doesn't really have much to spend it on. Like, you know... As far as I know, they're not allowed into the kingdom to spend stuff. Oh, well, not the kingdom, the, thing. <laughs> the tower, that's what I meant. Wait, why was you waiting for me, son? You're not supposed to wait for me. You're supposed to just be praising this thing. Whilst I shoot all of your minions dead. Oh, wow, I need more ammo. I need a lot more ammo. Otherwise, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna have to knife some people till I get some ammo. Is that some? No, that's not any. This is very bad. I should have probably realised that I needed... There we go, that's a drop. That's a big drop as well, that's not bad to be honest. Oh, some heavy as well. Let's reload our heavy weapon. And to be honest, I should probably switch out. Once I use all this stuff, I'll switch out to a rocket launcher because it's easier to kill this thing with a rocket launcher than it is to kill it with a, a powerful uh, machine gun. Oh, I didn't realise he was thingying. Oh, let's be careful. And we also should golden gun him once he's finished. There we go. Golden gun out. Gotcha. Now let's fire at your core. Now that's actually done quite a decent amount of damage so far already. So that's impressive so far. So far that is. Right, let's throw a grenade at him because I think that will just blow up. Oh no, wait, never mind, it failed. Three, three, two, one, zero. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Alright, let me just quickly equip my rocket launcher. If I have one, that is. I do have one, alright. That'll be easy to kill him with. Once we get some heavy ammo on the go. I have gauntlets, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm carrying so much ammo for my uh, scout rifle, it's because I'm actually carrying a... I actually have some gauntlets which increase the amount of scout rifle uh, stuff I can have. Scout rifle ammo I can have at one time, so that's that's quite cool how they have that feature. You can have, like, multiple different um, weapon stats. Oh, damn. I mean, I will be doing a full review of the game, and I'll be mentioning that in the video, probably. I'll mention everything in the review video. You might have already released, I'm not sure. Uh, I know it came out, I think I predicted it would come out a week after the beta-ish. I can't remember my exact schedule, because it's quite a long one, to be honest. Of daily videos all the way up till September 9th, which is going to be quite a long ride, to be completely honest. Oh, damn it. Up until September 9th, I say that, there'll still be daily videos after that, to be honest. But uh, I'll, I'll try anyways. But I'll be playing Destiny quite a lot once it comes out, and I'll have I'll have like a mini unboxing coming out on the 9th, and then the first episode will go live on the 10th. And the, the first episode, by the way, will just be character creation. For the full game, I'll be doing it as the Warlock more than likely. If not, I'll do it as the Titan, 
because I don't necessarily, the Hunter is nowhere near my favourite class, I, it's actually my least favourite class, but I do like all the classes, it's just my least favourite class is this one. See what I mean, that thing just explodes on impact, oh I took my tomahawk at it and it failed. Let's get ready for this actually, because there's going to be enemies coming for us in a second here. They're, they're here, alright, let's, let's shotgun this guy to his doom, and then get this drag on the side there. He's, what is he doing, was he just teabagging, I swear down, he was just teabagging. Ooh, damn it, that's a lot of damage. They do a ton, a ton, a ton of damage. And I can't run anymore. Oh, I have to drop back down, that's why. Got you, stabby, stabby dwarf. Stabby, stabby dwarf, what the heck? Dog's cast kicking in. Uh, jump back up the staircase. Oh, damn. Where, where is he? There's a dreg right there. Is he? Yep. Stab and stab. We're almost done now, actually. Let's grenade. Oh, did it? No, I didn't get him down. I want enough time to get him. Oh, oh wait, how much damage does this gun do? I think it was a 220 per shot in the middle. I can't even get a shot in the middle. 110, that's it. Alright. Oh, I wasted it again. I always waste my tomahawk for some reason. Wait, I think the enemies get more powerful, the ones that they spawn in. There we go, yeah, I'm dead. Alright, I think the enemies get more powerful, uh, and they, like, there's more of them the later you go into the mission. Alright, take him out, go on son. You can revive me, dude. I'm just a noob. I'm just a noob, you are pro. You are not pro, you are pro. Revive me, dude. Thank you very much, sir. We'll be heading on our way and killing this thing now. Oh, crud. Where's that guy? He's gone up there now. Grenade. And, yep, yeah, that should, that did a bit of damage, actually. Let's be careful not to kill this. Let's be careful not to kill this guy. I almost actually said that. Jesus. Let's tank this guy to shreds. That's what I was supposed to say. Oh, look out, son. You might get wrecked. If you're not careful. I'm getting wrecked is nothing. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> That's what I get for being cocky. Please move, because that guy needs to revive me. Or one of them needs to revive me anyways. Dude, please, behind you. <laughs> right, we spawned in. Let's let's just fire our shotgun at him again. Ooh, let's not get killed again though, like we did last time. Ooh, yeah, he did a lot of damage. I keep going down. Oh my god, I'm failing at this one. Alright, it doesn't matter too much though. That one, this is failing quite a bit actually. Come on, dude. Thank you. Right, I, won't, I won't die again, I promise. I was just being a little bit cocky. Where is he? In the center there. But he, he always seems to aim at me, that's the weirdest part. He always seems to aim at me for some reason. Like The other guys, they're like, you know, we're shooting at him as much as we like, and we're cool. And I'm just like, what the hell is going on? Or maybe that's just my instinct. Maybe it's because I'm shooting at him a bit too much. And you, sir, can get Tomahawk. Oh, 105 damage on that metal tank thing. That makes complete sense, and I will take that as not a compliment-ish. I want to take this guy with my gold gun, that would be really cool. I don't even have my tomahawk charge back up yet. My grenade charges up really quickly because I have discipline 40, I think. But my tomahawk, I have discipline 0. So, not discipline 0. I have, like, whatever it is, 0 for the tomahawk. And so, it recharges just a little. Look, I've thrown, like, 3 grenades in the time that I've had one throwing knife. But he is getting quite, actually, bossed by my grenades. One sec. Oh, is he dead? Oh, I was going to use my gold gun as well. Let's just use it now, then. Where are they? Oh, they're all dead. All right. Let's just fire this thing in the sky. Boom. So there we go. That's the end of the Devil's Lair mission. Cast a great shadow over our city. With its destruction, the fallen devil will grow weaker. But we must stay vigilant. The fallen are crafty, and they will find ways to survive. They always do. All right, then, sir. So this has been the Devil's Lair strike on the destiny beta hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you uh, if you have remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more Ooh, an engram imagine if i missed that and remember to subscribe for some more daily destiny content uh, remember to follow me on facebook twitter and twitch.tv links are in the description below and i'll see you guys in another video so until then ciao